Welcome back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Today I'm in Logan Canyon, Utah at Beaver Creek Lodge. I'm renting a UTV for four hours. I'm gonna head up some, some of the Forest Service roads. This is Travel Vlog 5 to the Zero. Get ready for a badass video. Let's get it on. This thing is sweet. This place uh, rents three different types of UTVs. One of them is like a Baja buggy looking thing. And then we've got this two seater that I've got and a four seater. And they are fun. Uh, you can do like two hours or four hours or the full day. I did uh, four hours, uh, half day. And uh, this is the trail marker I've been looking for. I was kind of uh, confused for a minute because the trail marker down there said 011 and I was looking for 411. But look what I found, 411. That means we can put the pedal to the metal and get going, baby! Ow! If you ever played Mario Kart and wondered what it would like to be in that video game, let me show you.
Took a ride up the 415 and hit some technical difficulties. A little bit of snow, a little bit of mud. Found the only rain cloud in the whole sky. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad, so I think I'm going to turn around and found some other routes. There's a ton of forest, a whole forest road. Uh, there's a ton of forest road connections up this way, so plenty of roads. Let's keep on moving. Gonna need the 4WD for this one. Four wheel drive, baby, let's go. This 494 is bananas. B A N A N A S. I need 4 W D the whole way. Let's get it on. Let me show you.
Man, the stuff that this thing can climb is unreal. Snow and mud and rocks in four-wheel drive is almost, uh, almost impossible to get it stuck. I've got some kind of weather coming in. I'm not sure if they're snow clouds or what, but I'm going to stop for a little rest. This thing is so much fun, man. I wasn't sure how to mount the GoPro. I tried to mount it on the front of the truck, or the front of this uh, UTV. That was a no-go. I tried to mount it on my helmet and chest. It was all a no-go, so at the end of the day, I'm just holding it in my hand. I think that's where I'm going to get the best shot, because that way I can get it out in front of the windshield. But Man, this thing is sweet. If you ever get up to Logan, Utah, you got to check this place out. I'll put the website in the video, but... Um, yeah, take a little break and keep on moving. Thanks for watching. Tried to take the 1166, <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna attempt this. Let me zoom in on that a bit. Man, mud and snow, some really deep ruts. I'm sure it would probably go through there, but they kind of recommended against it. So I'm gonna keep on moving, head back towards town. If you're interested, this uh, Beaver Creek Campground in the National Forest is way up here. You would have to have a pretty um, extreme off-road vehicle to get up here, but they have like five or six campsites right in the middle of all this wilderness, and they do have a vault toilet, although it's locked today. So if you're curious about some campsites over this way, uh, jump online and check it out. Let's keep on moving, baby. Wanted to give a quick shout out to the ladies at the rental office of Beaver Creek Lodge. Savannah and her co-workers are awesome. They're so helpful, very friendly. They've got maps, they've got GPS beacons in case you get stuck. This was an awesome day. I would definitely highly recommend it. Uh, my buddy Simon in Atlanta, you gotta bring your family out here, man. Sharon and Dylan would love it. This is sweet and uh, to be honest, four hours um, was a good amount of time. If you wanted to take the family and maybe do like a picnic lunch and explore even more routes, I would probably recommend the full day.
but uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. I am actually headed to Arches National Park later this week. So that'll be one of my upcoming videos. And I believe that Canyonlands National Park is over that way as well. And then I'm going to work my way into Colorado. But that's all I've got for you today. We will see you next time.